Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. Man, it is a beautiful day. It's springtime, which means it's project time. So this is the fire pit that we put in last year. We had a really good time doing it. We sourced all the materials from here on the property. Uh, it's one of the uh, first series of videos that I actually posted on my channel. Uh, but what we're doing today is we're gonna try to expand the uh, patio area so that we can have some outside seating and maybe put a picnic table or something like that uh, because we're looking forward to the warmer weather coming up and just being able to spend a little bit more time outside. So here I'll show you what we've got going on. So my son has been working really hard all morning to get this area dug down about two and a half to three inches and leveled as much as possible. And so what we're gonna do is I went and got a truckload of sand yesterday. We're gonna put about a half an inch of sand, pack it down, and then use all of these pavers that we have left over. And what we're going to do is extend the brick pavers out about 10 feet this direction by 12 feet kind of line up right with the uh, with the fire pit. That'll give us plenty enough room for a nice little picnic table and some seating area, and then still be able to enjoy the, the fireplace and just have fun as a family. So what we've done is we pulled a straight line off the very edge of the circle, all the way out parallel with the porch. That way we can have a nice straight line for our bricks to go down. So now what I'm doing is I'm bringing these pavers out, putting a little bit of sand, and then just setting it right down lining it up with the edge of that. And then we just make sure that we're level. If we need to bring it up just a little bit, just push a little bit more sand underneath it, pack it down. And tuck it in right there. Once we've got the pavers in place, we'll just run some sand right along there and just allow it to pack it in. And that'll keep these pavers good and tight together. And they're fairly forgiving. Ah, uh, so it's not an uh, exact science, but that'll help to make it look nice. And then in these little corners, we'll just pack in some uh, smaller pieces of brick, just kind of fill in the gaps.
right, so now that we've got this one line complete, what we can do is we can start going at a 90 degree angle this way so we can frame in the entire patio. Then we can just fill it in with the pavers, kind of doing a cross hatch kind of thing. But it's starting to look good. I think it'll be a very nice patio. first row half of our second row bit of our third row done uh, what I'm doing on the inside is I'm just kind of crisscrossing them uh, every two bricks that way it just gives it a little bit of a design a little bit of a unique style and keeps them a little bit tighter uh, tighter together but uh, yeah so it's gonna take a while and voila with the magic of video editing the patio is complete. All right, friends. Well, we've got a lot more projects on the uh, horizon, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed this video. If you found it informative or entertaining in any way, hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. See more of what we have going on here on the homestead. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.